I just want to show you the leaves you get in this 50 piece set here. Um, you get an assortment of the ones where you can see the veins in the leaf there. So you get those. Then you get an assortment of the there's three different colors here, so there's this gold, a little bit of the deeper color on the bottom, then you've got this yellow with a little bit of deeper color, and I've just been painting, so yes. And then you have these, so you have a, a good amount of those, and there are some burlap leaves in there, smaller ones, maybe Mama Ames, I don't know. Um, you got these oranges and then you've got this kind of olive green so you've got burlap that and then you've got a large amount of these now here's what I'm thinking I may be decoupaging these on now instead of the napkin I don't know and then I could put some different colors yeah. behind that I think you know what I mean. And I'll show you what else I'm doing. I finally did the chalk paint to the outside and the inside of the house. I'm going to put some different paper in here. I think I'm going to do one of those little garland wreaths with that um, kind of that plasticky green garland. And maybe H O M E in, all, in, in the four boxes, like home. I'm not sure yet. Okay. And. I think what I'm going to do with these is I'm going to just separate them into Ziplocs of um, the different kinds. So that they're easier just to grab by kind. And let me see, was there anything else I wanted to go over? I don't think so. All right, so that's yeah, that's right now what I'm doing. But I'm gonna put these into some different bags. So I'm just going to grab my burlaps. Huh. Two more things. Okay, put my burlap leaves here. And I'll just grab these. I'll get another one for these, but thanks for watching, guys. Have a great one. Bye bye. All right, so this is what I want to put in here. I may paint this frame, I may not. But I like that this was a matted frame. So pick this up. This was at the Dollar Tree, and I want to put this in here. So let's see how that goes. It's not a perforated page, so it should be fun. And to remove that. So let's see if we can. I've got to move, take this off. Hey there. That was cool. You have your stuff from Mr. Shelby? Nothing. Okay, so this will tell me. I'm just gonna grab this piece off. Oh, this is all in one piece. Okay, I thought it was. Okay. So what I can do is I'll move this over right now. And just grab. the one that I want to put in there, which is this one, and just make sure that that will fit. Well, I think with this white around here and the white border, let's see, that will fit because that's showing the right border, I think. So 
so I've just got to cut it as close to here as I can. And it should probably be done with like an X-Acto knife. Okay, so we cut it out of the book with the X-Acto knife um, right there. Okay, and now we're going to just cut off this, the words on the bottom right there. We're going to use the paper cutter for that. And then if I, you know, I'm not going to put like dots on that in case I ever want to switch it around. So, so I just want to cut as little as possible right here on the bottom. I'm going just to do with the paper cutter over here. So now I've got that, the words are off, and it should fit right in there, okay, and then we can put this back in, and this back in. Okay, and we'll see how that looks. So the whole um, coloring book being 99 cents and then having all of these prints to put in there. I think I just have to raise that up a little bit because the bottom isn't showing. Hang on. I think I can take a teeny tiny bit off there. Let me see. I do something like that. Yeah, that's it. so like that, kind of, not exactly perfect, but just because of the size of the frame. So, I mean, I'm not going to go nuts with it, but it's not sure I could bring this right up, if I bring it right up to the bottom. Then it's going to cut some flowers off on top, right? If I put it down so that we've got all our flowers, the bottom is a little off. I could trim the mat, I guess, if I really wanted to be nutso. Um, but I just don't think I'm going to be that nutso. You know, just for a picture out of a coloring book, I, I don't think I want to be that nutso. And this is probably going to go on my basement stairs going down, so I'm not going to be that nutso with it. I'm going to do another one, and we'll see how that one comes out. But I think it's just because I'm being crazy right now, so I'll just let that... I'll just let that be and leave it like that, right? Because you're, you're not, I don't think you're going to be, whoops, you can't see. I just don't think you're going to be like 
so focused on that. But I wanted to do this one and see how that will go in that frame. And I'll see. I'm just trying to see. It is bothering me some of ice. I may just have to get a different kind of frame. Or a different picture for that one. Maybe something like this where the bottom is Or like this would have been fine, right? Um, because the bottom is just multicolor, but that's the bottom of the drawer. I just might have to use that for something else. But I'm just going to leave it in the frame since it's printed. Like even this, because like if you were there, you wouldn't know if there were two, right? So I just think. I picked the wrong one. All right, well, I just wanted to show you that. I will. Okay, guys, so what I did right now is I scooped out the top of this pumpkin, you know, the one that I painted white. Now, I have not decoupaged it or anything. I may decoupage it in a fabric or those leaves. I'm not sure. Whatever I do, I will fill in the half there. That's, you see where it goes together, but I will take care of that one way or another. Um, I just wanted to get my arrangements in just to make sure that I had enough flowers for what I wanted to do. So I'm starting the arrangements here and I'm just filling in. I put a small piece of styrofoam in the inside and that's what I'm securing the stems with. While I'm doing this, I'm also using another piece of that same block of foam for the last bag box that I had to do an arrangement. And the ones I just had the flowers sticking in there, which actually looked pretty good, but there I am over there with the foam piece. And I'm just adding the flowers outside of the bag because it's easier and that is what I'm doing right now. So I still haven't decided what I'm doing with that pumpkin. I even think, believe it or not, that cutting out the top and leaving it orange, which I have one, would look really amazing too even though it's a little bit, you might have to, t maybe I would tone it down with um, a little, not, not even, I, I think it would look really cute. I might get some other autumn flowers that I do need some more if I'm going to do any more arrangements. We'll see what happens when I go to the Dollar Tree again, what they have. I might do that. I don't know. I don't know. I do like the idea of an arrangement in it and Again, I'm going to do some sort of a decoupage to it. I'm just not sure what, whether it's going to be fabric or even, you know, you could even wrap it in a, like a buffalo check. If you found a buffalo check, like dinner napkin or something, you could probably put that on the bottom and go right up in, but I don't know how much that would look like a pumpkin, you know, with it. So I just think. I'm going to decoupage it somehow. I'm going to try maybe with the leaves first. If I don't like that, then I can always do it something another way. But it does turn out really nice even before the decoupage. The arrangement just looks really nice in the container. And so I'm just going to keep doing this and keep working away. And we'll see what we have here really soon.
Okay, so I've got one of these 99 cent jobs out of here. It's Cypress. Not sure exactly what that color is, but we'll find out. I've got this, and I know some of them have the this Barrens darker than others. I think the white one I had hardly had any of this. Didn't have, definitely didn't have any of this black on it. So I don't know how that's going to stain, but it doesn't really matter. Um, I'd rather have the darker ones with the dark with the stain. The white one, this is almost completely gone. You can't. So I'm putting that thankful sign there, and I'm not sure what I'm going to do there. I also going to see if I'm going to use the transformations on it. Now, so this is the cypress, as I said, and as soon as Jimmy gets the um, yes, no. I'm just gonna rub it on and let it go. Jimmy, yes or no? You just want to use this? You don't care. Can I just get it open whatever I want? I'm using these mimes. I just cut them so I have to, they're, they're helpful to you. Don't get it on the table, please. Do oh. you want to put something on it? You worry about it? No, I'm going to be very careful. Okay, so. That's my color. I also want to do a. Um, Green that I have that I want to stain. So I'll see how this color is. I've got to make a mess. I've, I'm okay. I'm not going to make a mess. Okay. okay. I have yet to use one of those gel stains. I noticed that everybody that uses chalk paint, they, they, they stain the top of the tables with a gel stain. It's almost black, looks like a paint. I'm thinking that's because how hard it is to stain to get the right color and make sure it doesn't bleed through that. It's almost like a paint that they use, but they always use that no matter who does it, they all do it. I find that interesting. I'm probably just going to use a wax on this, the same, if I use anything to seal it, I'll use the wax probably. If I can find my rub-on poly, which I'm not finding, and I didn't find it in the store the other day either, so I didn't run to Home Depot, but I do like this color. It makes it look really, it's already on teach. I like this color a lot, and I, this is a color I would never ever picked. I just I've never even heard it, so thanks always for that.
to go ride my bike because the days are getting shorter and I don't like that. And then when they start with that stupid daylight savings time, I really, I always say I'm going to protest. It never works well. <laughs> I think I will try this color in my three panel room divider. I like that color. I don't even I don't even know how much I want to like, rub this. I like the way it's seeped in there. I think it makes it look really nicely um, aged. What do you think there? Let me get some more stain. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry there. Go for my bike ride. I think it's giving it a, like a real farmhouse air, isn't it? The color. I like it. I like it. Okay. Um, bike ride time. I'll be back. See you guys soon. Okay, so now I'm redoing one of these pineapple signs. Remember, it had that uh, really blue, blue uh, welcome. So I, I paint it over now. That's what it looked like before. Now it's black, and then I'm going to embellish it. A three panel folding screen that uh, my neighbor who is moving gave me, among other things. And it's something that comes in handy for, you know, videotaping, photographing, things like that if you need a background real quick. And I just wanted to give it a stain and I'm going to put it down in the basement in my new video room. Uh, my video processing room and maybe some place where I can go to a tape premiere so that'll be really quiet and that my computer will be right there. We'll see how that works, but I'm just going to give it a stain here. I'm using the same cypress right now. Jimmy got this out to me pretty late uh, because I came back from my bike ride and then he didn't understand that I meant, you know, could you get that and bring it out for me? So whatever, I didn't get a, a good start on it and I'll have to tell better in the daytime if I like the color. The color on the sides is fine, but when I go to do the screens, now I was going to do the screens, I wasn't sure if I was going to paint this or stain this, but at least if I stain it first, then I can spray paint it if I want to. I'm going to see how it works out. It's just going to be a project and we'll see what happens. So stay tuned for more on this project. And this is a video of all the, well, not all the projects, because it's not all them here, some of the projects that I did today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, if you will, and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll be sure to get our newest videos as soon as they go up. And thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.